There. Let them think. You can play with that, all right? Oh, that's looking good. So as I pick up on them, sort of getting ready for that movement. Eventually, though, I'm, I like watching his eyes because does he do that a lot? Does he blink like that a lot? Okay. He blinks, he blinks a lot, a lot more than I notice other horses sometimes, and, and that's good. So what will happen is he'll start to relax because of this, and he'll say, oh, I can use this part. It's almost like when you, when you have a tight, let's say you have a tight neck and you stretch it out. It feels much better. Yeah, I notice that. And what's kind of cool about these things is when a horse is tight in the pole, when they're tight in the pole, they're on the forehand. So when you're riding him and he's tight on the pole, he's pushing on the bit, he's on the front legs, see? And the other, he, here's another interesting thing. As riders, we tend to bend their head really far. I overdo it too, I overbend. So we're making a circle to the left, let's say we bend their head too far. When we do that, it actually puts a lot of weight, more weight on their front leg. So watch this, if I bend his head, can you see how he's standing heavier I'm taking his head way around to the side. He's got, got to stand on the front legs. Now when we, and that would be like bending, over bending. When we work on just flexion, he's actually going to get off the shoulder. He's going to get light in the shoulder. What's going to happen is it's going to go through his body, through his structure. And so like you'll notice there, the weight goes back. Now did you see how he was just about to, no treats. He was just about to take a step back. And I'm not even asking for backup. What I'm asking for is that he just flexes. Oh, oh, oh. And pretty soon the head comes up. So that's why in dressage, we talk so much about flexion. And remember that flexion is just less. Now I'm still probably bending. <coughs> there, notice he backed up. Tucking the seat under. Okay, that's really important. There's two halts, and I know we're going to get moving in a little bit, but picking up on that rein, that feel, it's like a handshake. How well is it received? So if I reach for Deb's hand and she slaps my hand, look at her. <laughs> look what he's, his handshake to me is. It's okay. Um, he's a nosy. So it's, if I reach for you, it, do you receive that handshake? Oh, it's a good handshake. When, you, when you're going down that rain, that's meaningful. They've got to be light. If that, that, that is so important that if they don't get soft for that, if they're bobbing and pulling, you're gonna go over and, you're gonna, and, you're on, and they're on the front end, and the whole time riding, you're going to get them on the front end. They're not soft. Yeah, this is about lightness, this clinic. So, so now you can hold the buckle. Would be what the horse would do on his own. So instead of taking his spring and scrunching it up like this, what you really do is you open up the spring and you, it arcs. So you actually stretch the horse and he sits back. All right, we're all going to do that right now. And you're like, well, that's how do you do that? I'll show you. I'll show you ways we can do that. Um, I'm going to pick up, say, get ready, buddy. Get a soft feel. Ride forward. I might trot just a little bit. My horse is like, I'm happy standing in the herd. So maybe I trot. Go up here. He stretched a little. Come back down. Now you could walk down. Do you see his rump come under? Oh. And then at the base of the hill is an easy place to trot. So, hey, Sherry, your horse is tucking his nose nice. And you're light, yeah. I'm proud of you. Hill work's awesome. I, we're going to, oh, man. The, if I can, my first ride, I'm on hills. What else can work besides pulling? Yeah, jumping. Well, what about poles? Poles are better than nothing. Yeah. yeah. Like poles are better than nothing. Oh, Transitions. We're going to do that in a second. Transitions are something. Sure. Nice job, Sarah. Come on down. All right. Kind of fun, huh? Right, so if I, just, if I just push on you right there, you decide you're going to do something about it, didn't yeah. you? I pushed on you, and you go, and your horse goes, we better get out of here. That's what he's saying right now. We better go. This guy's weird. But when I pushed there, so what did you do? I pushed into you. When you go down the hill with the horses, and you're walking down a, a slope, a hill, uh -huh. what happens is we feel them get on the front legs and tip forward. We get a little nervous. You talked about that a little, right? 
And then what we do is we automatically, all, we all do this. We go, well, okay, fine. That. You're still pulling. Or maybe, maybe, possibly. Well, yeah. So here's the thing. When you pull on the reins going down a hill, they can only bulldoze through that, through that to get down the hill. Get it? They can only counterbalance you. Can I show you that? Now, you all did. Oh. Yep. They can only go forward more. Because like, just like she wouldn't let me push her out of the saddle. So it's a, they have to counterbalance that. Yep. Got it? I'll show you. Good question. So, so Sherry's always like, what should I do? And I, I like that, that you do that. Because I'm always talking about don't do this, don't do that. And it's a good point. So let me show you what you could do. So coming down the hill, if I wanted to halt, I would just do my half halt to my thigh. I'd go, or watch my rein. See the give? Now that represents halting or slowing down. So if, I, if they're going a bit fast down the hill, I'm going to ask, give, ask, give, ask, give. Got it? That's always more effective than holding. But the theme of the clinic is dressage naturally. It is not natural for a horse to ride on a flat sand arena its whole life. Get it? If you, if you guys can add a little bit to it, by the way, then go like this. Give the horse a little more to, to do. Make him use his body. Yeah. Come on, Laura, don't brace your shoulders. Let your horse follow along with his herd. He's in a herd right now. You know what I mean? He's with a bunch of good horses right now. Thank you. So as we come up here, I'm going to yell now. So as we come up here, get a little trot.